So today we're talking about the 30th anniversary of one of Raj's favourite films. In fact, I think it might be his all-time favourite film. It's Heather's. It is. It's back. <laughs> Not that it ever really went away. Heathers is back with a vengeance. Yeah. No, actually, it is the 30th anniversary 4K restoration uh, of Heathers. Um, so when we got the press release saying that it was coming back to cinemas for its, you know, 4K restoration, I was like... You wanted to be a member of the most powerful clique in school. Dear Diary, Heather said she teaches people real life. You were nothing before you met me. You were a Girl Scout cookie. Does it not bother you that everybody in this school thinks that you're a piranha? I got to go down, watch it in a private little cinema for the hundredth time, probably. But is it, was, it really that many times? Yeah, seen yeah. It? For me, Heather's is like my Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. I could quote the whole movie from beginning to end, and if they allow me to dress up like Heather's, <laughs> probably <laughs> would. Uh, but it, yeah, I'd have to say watching it in 4K wasn't really that much of a difference for me. Some of the colors popped a bit more, and obviously it was. You know, higher quality than the VHS tape I used to watch. It, yeah, watch it in high school, which probably had loads of lines. Yeah, right, where you'd seen it so much. But I have the Blu-ray, so I mean, it's not really that much different to me. But I quite liked watching Heather's again and actually seeing it in the movie theater because I never saw it in a movie theater. I saw it on VHS tape in high school. That's it. We're breaking up. Was that? It was great to see it in a, f a theater that with other people that hadn't seen it before so there was bits where they laughed and you know they laughed out loud or giggled and I was like oh that's nice because I've always just watched it in the privacy of my own obsession so it's obviously st stayed current really yeah. in a way even yeah. it's a big 80s classic yeah and it's very current now I mean you've got Heather's the musical which is doing a big run in London right now and I did get tickets so hey! I did <laughs> <Air punching. laughs> yeah <laughs> So uh, it moved away from the smaller theater and is moving to a bigger run in September. So I was like, purchase, ding, ding. Yeah. So I am going to see Heather is the Musical and I will review it for you. But even like, you know that movie Alex Strangelove that yeah. we saw recently? Um, there, there's a few scenes where there's like Heather is the Musical, like posters in the background and in a couple of scenes actually so it's kind of like this cult thing that like I think people are really picking up on now and of course there's the Heather's TV show which never made it off the ground yeah, they've only released the pilot episode um, and um, the company I work for uh, Viacom pulled it from the air on Paramount Network because um, it came out at the same time as all the uh, the school shootings and stuff so they didn't think it was a good time to put that show out i really love the pilot episode phil and i reviewed it um so check the link check the link above but i think they're just shopping it out for other um uh, places to stream it so it might end up on Netflix but I knew if, I know a few press people have seen like the first five episodes and they all said it was really good and solid so I'm, I'm hoping the TV show will make it to yeah. air well you're gonna be quite shocked because I don't actually remember seeing Heathers ever oh. although I, I am gonna be seeing it <laughs> <laughs> so I'll update you on a future video you a Heather no I'm a Veronica I don't really like my friends. I don't really like your friends either. If you could sum up the movie to people that haven't seen it, I would imagine most people that are watching this probably have seen it, because yeah. like you say, it's a real cult classic, even though it's a mainstream success. So this is before Mean Girls. You know, it, it gets a lot of similarities to Mean Girls, but basically it's uh, the group of Heathers um, in the late uh, 80s and 90s. Um, they rule the school. There's one girl in the group named Veronica, and she's a little bit different. So, but there are they, these group of Heathers rule the school. Is that Winona Ryder? Yes. Right. So, yeah. So this was the start of Winona Ryder's career and kind of one of her uh, most iconic roles. Uh, her and Christian Slater uh, sort of get together and start um, offing all the popular kids at school, making it look like suicide. Um, and it's very, it's a very black comedy. It's um, the language in it, the vernacular yeah. they use is uh, of its own. I was going to um, say that famous catchphrase, <laughs> gently with a chainsaw, that is from yep. others, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So um, I'm quite excited for you to watch because I think you'll get it. Um, and it's just become such a cult classic and I'm just excited to see it getting all of its, you know, 
what it's due because they made the film for nothing for absolutely nothing and it's got this very cult-like status now um and i think you know there's all these b movies and stuff from like the generation before us but for me this movie was like oh it's like my b movie cult classic uh, for my generation so if you I haven't seen it yet just see it i think that proves how good a film is though yeah. if it's made on a budget a tiny budget and it's a huge success can i just do a link for halloween because that was yeah. the same <laughs> you know it was produced for nothing yeah and yet it made so much money so i think that just proves how good a film is yeah. It's my all-time favourite film. So. so Heather's is coming back to the UK um, cinema scene. Um, I think they're doing, they're showing this uh, restoration of the film um, at BFI, and yeah. one of the Heathers is going to be there. Um, tragically, too, um, one of the main Heathers in the film, Heather McNamara, I forget who plays her, but the um, actress actually died. So, um, yeah, she died quite a while ago. So uh, just interesting no nope. tribute to her then, yeah this restoration go out and see it if you've never seen it before just go out and see it it's it's really camp it's lots of fun it's very dark uh, it's very black but you'll enjoy it if you like christian slater and you like winona Ryder, seeing them in the prime of their youth is quite something i so. in heaven really, yeah. isn't it then too yeah. so it's in cinemas from the 8th of august on demand from the 20th of august you can check all the information down below because we've got a link uh, to go and buy it on amazon too and it's when it's out so uh, Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon.